I'll be goddamned. Third hole, third coin. Unspanking believable. Yeah, <laughs> George Washington. Hey, I'll take her though. Better than tin slaw. Maybe it could even be silver. Hope the other one ain't a Georgie. Whatever, going in the pouch. We'll check them later. What's up, guys? We're back out again. I have a few guests with me. We got Nate Dog back here. And we got Will. Will, the woodworker. You need a sign, get at him. We're going to hammer this field, and we will be back on the first good one. All right, my first good pull. <clears throat> I believe it's going to be a... 1700s tone back button. I was hoping for a little bit of a design, but it's pretty chewed up, but that's what it is. I think there is going to be a design on there. Um, let her dry up and uh. Something's trying to pop through there. Yeah, it's like a flower the whole way around it. Pretty nice. I like it. Opens a coin. <laughs> Will just brought this up. Uh, he's hoping for a coin. It may be. I think it's copper though. Definitely looks like it. Greenish. Yeah. Really thin. Yep, you got a shank mark. No shit. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's a button. That's uh, a button. There's stuff here. Yeah. We each got a button. We're on board. Wonder how Nate's doing. I don't know. Yep, shank mark on the back. I've been digging every good signal up. Just another flatty. Nothing special. I don't see anything on it. Shank intact. Alright, keep her going. So Nate here, I think he has himself a copper. And it's probably going to be a great bust. Let's see what it is. Fat lip cap. Oh, oh gosh. the coin Come I've been after. Car. That's fat. It's a drape, I think. It looks like. Oh, no. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. At least I'm so happy you found something. Man. Hey. Yeah, it looks like it's facing to the right. Nice. Yeah, let me clean it up. Yeah. Finally, it's been forever. All right, here's Nate's. Uh, he finally got a drape bus out of the drape bus field. It ain't called the drape bus field for nothing. He thinks it is a 1798. You can see a one, a seven, a nine, and an eight. That is awesome. Now, let's hope the rest of us get one. <laughs> Good job. Fun ring, man. We got the Ringmaster 5000 here. <laughs> he left us and hit the house and look at that. That looks like Native American stylish. Yeah, I didn't even wipe it off. It just came out of the ground like that. Do you mind? No, dude, go for it. That's why I really I don't have water or nothing. I didn't want to you know, I kinda wanted you to you've been my uh Oh yeah, there's a there's an arrow. That's, that's that's native made. Yeah, it's it's sterling. It's native made. There's the arrow, and it should be turquoise top. That's a nice one, man. We'll get it all cleaned up and show it to you then. That's a hell of a find, buddy. It's pretty heavy too. Oh, you got two. Oh, oh. 
And then Nate hand draws this. It's a Eagle infantry. It's very, very hard to see, but it's there. Yeah, it's definitely Native American. Check out that arrow on the side. That's pretty cool, man. This actually might be something different, man. You think than, so? Than your typical. Because normally they'll have like an eye for infantry. Yeah, this is looking like I can only see like cross cannons right there or something. It might be artillery. You have to clean it up with like a toothbrush so you yeah. get some detail off of it. It could be a PA state militia button. That would be cool. Yo, that would be cool as <laughs> shit, man. There's arrows on both sides. Nate Dog does it again. 1845. Braided hair, and he got himself another. Yeah, that's an eagle button. Yep. Said it might have an eye on it. I can't figure out the orientation. I've been wanting to find one of those Pennsylvania militia buttons down there. Yeah, it's an eye. You got two eagle eyes today. Yeah. Beautiful, dude. Good, good job. Damn. Hell yeah. Oh, candy? No, it's uh, not. It looks like it's, it looks like it's I don't see a shine, or, uh, or you would have Ooh, a shine. Uh, Woodman got one. It's a little tacoed up, but it's definitely a coin. Yeah, we'll take it. Hey. <laughs> I just want to see if it's a coin, not a... I'm hoping it's a coin. Yeah, you got yourself a KG of some kind. Man, that bitch is super, th super thin, dude. Yeah, they were in circulation a long time. Yeah, she's a KG. I'll let you clean thumb it. I'll let yeah, you. How about it, man? I'll let you thumb punch its bone hole. I think it's wiped. Probably. All right, new day, new detecting. First, good target. Second target, little musket ball. Looks like it was wormed. And that's where they cut the sprue off. Yeah, that's where they cut the sprue off. I'll take it. Alright, I pulled this pretty sweet button. Looks like similar to a recent one I've got. In my last video, which I had lost. So that's pretty cool. I have no clue where I put it. I lost an Indian, a button kind of like this, a few other things, a Civil War button. Cool. All right, old man winter is getting close. This is one of probably the last warm days of the year. So I'm gonna go get it in. Hopefully we find something. Stay tuned. All right, I got my first good target here. It's been about an hour. I'm an hour in, I dug a bunch of bullets and crap, but. So that's pretty close to the surface, but. Something good. It is a piece of aluminum. Get a finger. That 
I think we have a coin. Um, if I had to guess, seeing the the brown and orange there, I'm gonna say weedy. But it's better than nothing. Tell me it's a memorial. That's my luck. Yeah, it's a freaking memorial. About ready to give her up for the day. Yeah. Woohoo! Touchdown! I got a button. See a mold line there. I don't think it has a design or anything. Nope. Alrighty. At least we found something old. Finally, after two hours, I got a copper, I believe. Let's turn it around. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's hitting. A little all over the place now. My stuff's pretty close. Um. There's a round disc. Let's see what it is. It sounded like silver when it was in the hole. We get in the sun here. She's pretty thin and worn. I don't know why it's beeping so high. The ground is very, very wet. It's definitely a coin. It's very thin. And I never heard a KG beat that high. Unless it's like super old US. I want to let it dry out before I rub on it anymore. Um, I'll let it dry out and we'll wipe it off then a little bit later. Look how thin that bugger is. Super thin. Alright, so I thumb punch her a little bit. And uh, I see a George right there facing to the left. And it is a Hibernia. So George the second Hibernia. Unless, I don't know, this is pretty small. This might be either Hibernia or Virginia Halfpenny. This is pretty small, man. I'll have to put it up against uh, my other Virginia Halfpenny that's completely toasted, but That might be a Virginia halfpenny. I'm going to have to double check that one. No, I see the... Pretty sure I see the harp. I don't know. I'll check it and let you know. I might have a date, too. The line's pretty visible, and I see four numbers there, so we'll check it out. Right, I got it cleaned up. It is a Hibernia. And he is facing right. That is King George the Third. And this is Irish Halfpenny. 171776 at the bottom. Looks a little better after some nose grease. And I got this little guy here. I want to focus on it because I think there's something on it. If I can get my phone to focus here. There we go. Looks like I have a date right here. It really comes out when it's wet. And there's maybe a bust on it. Right at the bottom there, I can see a one something six one almost looks like a small coin maybe it's just shrews i don't know but really showed me i was cleaning it 
Let's get the loop under it. Definitely looks like numbers. Ring I heard. <laughs> All right, so that's the uh, first hunt of 2023. I have a full big bag of junk. We'll start with me since I did the worst. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> We got this little 1926 Mifflin County tax tag. A big old piece of lead with a square nail hole in it. 50 cent. A wheat penny. One, two, three buttons. One's a tomback with a little flower design. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And five musket balls. And some other bullets. Will got himself a taco. He did try to clean it and couldn't figure out anything. Um, oh, I see some letters. There. Yeah, it's got something in there. But I'm going to guess and say KG3, going by the date of most of everything else that's found here. Seems to be a logical conclusion. His button and his awesome little ring here. That thing is a beast. If anybody knows that maker mark, comment below please. I've seen it before, but I cannot remember. And that is 925. Native American shit, I, I can't believe that rock. And then Nate got a 45 uh, braided hair. Pretty chunky. And as always at this field, a drape bust, 1798. It's in pretty good shape. He got two Civil War Eagle Eye buttons. That's awesome. Two Wheaties. And a sweet little pocket knife. And a piece of native he found in a washout. Probably used for a bow drill. Alright guys, see you in the next one.